Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy Lukasiak. Thank you for joining me today. And thank you to the Skin Research Institute and their Dry Cube Blow Dryer for sponsoring this video and for sending me one. I can't wait to tell you all about it. But hello, welcome to my video today that I'm really excited to share with you. I know a lot of you know me from Dance Moms, which hello, yes, I'm Christy from Dance Moms, Street Fight, all the things. And today I wanted to do a video where I kind of reflect back on the ghosts of Christy past from Dance Moms and the things I wish I had known or owned back when the show was on. Oh, hindsight is 2020, right? And there are so many things that I wish I had known back then that I knew now, or I know now. And look, so many things have gotten so much better as far as products go. I so wish I had owned those back in the day. It would have made my life so much easier and possibly I might have looked better on TV. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So today's video is all about the 10 things I wish I had known or owned. So we are going to get into it. But before I do, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and leave a comment below what video you would like to see me do next because I'm always looking for ideas. I'm not a YouTube guru. I need all the help I can get, so help a girl out, right? Okay, let's get into it, shall we? We are gonna start with known. Ooh, all right, what I wish I had known then. Number 10, we are going to start with, I wish I had known that fat jokes are not going to age well. Okay, now listen, fat jokes are never okay, all right? But 12 years ago, they were slightly more accepted and I was always the first to go that direction. Now I could defend myself. I could say like, oh, this is the reason I said that because she said this and I said this, but there is literally no excuse for that. So I wish I had been a little bit kinder uh, during those moments on the show and not always gone to something, um, I don't know. I just think it's low brow and I wish I hadn't done it. So that is one huge regret I have and I would totally take it back if I could live and learn. I mean, I hope I'm a better person now, but that is definitely one thing that I wish I had known. All right, number nine, something I wish I had owned. The SRI Dry Cube Blow Dryer. It is a total game changer, you guys. Back in the day, whenever we traveled, I always just used whatever blow dryer was in the hotel room because honestly, I didn't want like a bulky blow dryer in my suitcase. But look, this is teensy and lightweight. And watch, here's the best part, you ready? Look how easy it is to fold. So I don't even need a suitcase. I could just throw this right in my carry-on. Plus our call times were always so, so early. So any extra minutes I got in bed were like glorious. And this actually has a fast button. First of all, there's three different modes to choose from, but the fast button helps to blow dry my hair faster. So I get extra time in bed. And, and when I want to do the cool shot, most blow dryers you have to like pull down the button. This one, you can just press the button and the cold stays on. Watch, you ready? Okay, so it uses an infrared technology that is not only going to help give me like that salon quality blowout at home, but it's also going to help protect my hair and potentially even stimulate hair growth, which hi, I need my hair to grow always. And it comes with three different attachments and they're all magnetic. Look, how easy is that? Just voila, magnet, magnet, easy. Okay, check out the description box for a great deal so you can grab the SRI Dry Q. I mean, honestly, my hair kind of looks fabulous, right? I mean, I feel that way. Which brings me to my next point. Oh, things that I wish I had known on TV. I wish I had known not to ugly cry. Okay, I ugly cried all the time on television. I would get my emotions, I felt everything, and I would just let loose, which was great because it was relatable, but oh my God, the memes that are out there, please. I wish I could take back some of those ugly tears because I look at them and they just make me completely uncomfortable if I'm being totally honest. So, Christy of 2011, please stop ugly crying on TV. You are not gonna love it in the future, I promise you. Okay, number seven, something I wish I had owned. And that is honestly, better hair extensions. Some of the extensions I wore back in the day were horrific. I mean, you could tell they were awful. I mean, at one point, my husband looked at me and my husband never has a comment about anything. And he saw a picture of me from TV and he goes, what made you think that was a good idea? And I'm like, I don't know. Temporary insanity? I mean, look, I plead that. I plead temporary insanity. All right, number six, something I wish I had known. That is to play the game, okay? 
<laughs> I never played the game. I always just went for what I thought was right. <laughs> I wish that I had uh, maybe shut my mouth a little bit more and instead of always being the one to stand up for everything, maybe let others fight their battles so that Chloe wasn't always in the line of fire for my mouth. But honestly, then the other side of me feels like mm, maybe I should have kept saying, speaking out for the things that I believe were fair and true and um, right because in a way, I think that's what endeared me to a lot of you guys. So I would have picked my battles, but I still would have stood up for the big things, if that makes sense. I mean, there were times that I was fighting battles for people who would have never fought a battle for me, and it unfortunately hurt Glow. So I definitely would have played the game a little bit better, I feel like. All right, number five. I wish I had had a better iPhone. Like, look at the quality of the video on this phone. I am literally filming my YouTube on my iPhone and it looks like a beautiful cinematic movie experience. Now, have you seen some of the video footage that we have shared from the show behind the scenes? I had a flip camera. I literally filmed the auditions for Dance Moms on a flip camera. So an iPhone would have made all the difference in the world, don't you think? Number four, something I wish I had known. I wish I had known how long the show was going to stay relevant. I mean, if you think about it, the show premiered 12 years ago. We have not filmed an episode since 2017. That was, what, five or six years ago? And people are still watching the show all the time. It still goes viral. It's still all over TikTok. People stop me in the streets. I had no idea that this show was gonna last forever. Because honestly, some of my behavior would never fly today. Not just like the fat jokes, but other things that I did that were problematic would never fly today. This show would never be made today in the way that it was made in 2012. So I really wish that I had known it was gonna last this long and that little kids would be watching it uh, now in 2023 because I want to be like listen that's really bad behavior don't be like me be like Chloe when the rest of the girls so I wish I had known how long the show was going to be on the air for number three this is going to sound really insane but when you are a dance mom eyelashes are so important and we had the worst fake eyelashes, not just on us, on, on the girls, but I think the girls looked better because we were doing them, but there are the most beautiful eyelashes now that don't go on the top of your eyelids, they go underneath, like your eyelashes that look very natural. I wish so much I had had those on television. <laughs> so silly but when I see footage of me and I can see that big eyelash strip it's terrible so I really wish that I had had like those little false eyelashes that went underneath and looked natural back then it's true I do I really wish I had had those it would have made a big difference in my life I swear plus they wouldn't have uh I wouldn't have had to put them on every day and look anytime I could save time was a miracle because not only was I on a tv show that filmed 70 hours a week but I also had a one-year-old so anything I could do to save time was definitely a good thumbs up. Number two, something I wish I had known. I wish I had known that I should have enjoyed the process of filming the show more. It was such a specific time in our life and we were so stressed out all the time. And it was just such this, oh, this pressure cooker of a situation that I didn't realize it wasn't gonna last forever. And I wish I had taken the time to enjoy like all of the moments that I was like, wait, how did we get here? Instead, I was always worried about what was coming next or what was gonna happen or what fight I was gonna be in. So I really, really, really wish that I had taken a moment to enjoy it more, to appreciate the relationships that I built, to kind of take a moment in time and pause uh, when the girls were that age and really truly enjoy them little but also I would do anything to go back and watch that group dance one more time at that age I really would and number one the thing I wish I had owned the most during dance moms is my current wardrobe <laughs> I wore the ugliest things on television the ugliest things known to man somebody needed to say to me Christy just because it has a sequin or a ruffle does not mean it's meant for television, okay? In fact, if it has a sequin or ruffle, hang it back up and go get something a little bit more classic because this show is gonna continue airing for years and people are gonna look and be like, why does this woman never have shoulders in her top? Like, what's up with all the cold shoulder things? 
Oh, I really wish I had, I really, really wish I had owned my wardrobe now and just had a better sense of style. I mean, again, I thought ruffles equaled style and sequins equaled fashion. And unfortunately, no one took me seriously wearing those clothes. All right, well, that is about it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below and let me know which owned or known you agree with most. And I will see you back here next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.